What's going on guys? So today I wanted to do a quick video on our spring cleanup setup. Uh, first things first, I'm losing my voice so bear with me. So our spring cleanups, we divide into the month of March. Uh, for the first week and a half, we do leaves. And then about a week after that, we do trimmings, you know, bushes, hedges, things like that. And then after that, from mid-March until Memorial Day weekend, we do strictly mulch, cleaning beds out, everything like that to get ready for the summer. So our cleanups uh, typically, really, like I said, next week, last week of February into all of March, leaves, trimmings, and then mulch. Mulch is the big thing, as most of you know. So I'm gonna go run you through our setup here and what we do again, bear with me, I'm losing my voice. Uh, so this is what we have for cleanups. So we do not have large, large properties around us. We don't need the bagging systems, which are great. You know, they're very nice. Uh, we don't we don't run any of that. It'd be it'd be overkill. Very small properties where we're at, so we never needed any of that. So I'll show you first things first. We have the Skag, which is our main leaf cleanup machine, with the accelerator bagger. That bagger is nice. It's a little large, but it gets a little dusty. Um, we're gonna have a video of that coming out soon too. But again. Uh, that's the Skag 48, does the bagging of the leaves. <sighs> Leaf bagging is very tough. You know, usually, so like I said, with this truck here, you know, you'll run back and forth and dump it, or if we have the ladder up, you know, you'll run it up the side. But sometimes if it's a <sighs> large property, you know, we'll fill up the green barrels and then have guys haul them. It's not all day, it's not a killer, like it's not, you know, it's not gonna beat you up but it's a little time consuming. But for us, it's these, you know, the big bagging systems will not work on these small properties. It's way, it's overkill, you know, and especially these tiny yards. And it, it's, it, we had a very, very old, I think it was a hustler when I, you know, before I bought my rights back in the day. And it was, it was just overkill, it was overkill. So we got the Skag, the 48 with the bag, the accelerator bagger. And we don't have mulch kits or anything. I just run high lifts year round, high lift blades. Over here we have the steel BR800s. These are great. So with us, I've ran steel since the beginning. Of course, like back in the day, you start with Echo. I think everyone has from Home Depot. But we have so many steel products. When things break, we just kind of use old parts. So realistically, the amount of steel stuff we have, besides needing new carbs and air filters and the basic maintenance stuff, we haven't needed to buy a new piece of handheld equipment in maybe three years. Obviously, all that's gonna change. Steel is no, no way in any shape or form what they used to be, definitely. You know, for what you pay for steel, I don't think you get your time's worth anymore. We have some old steel trimmers in there I'll bring out one day that, I mean, they're old school and they run beautifully. Like, things are just not made how they are how they used to be, which is a whole nother topic, but it's a shame. Uh, but still, I love steel. You know, it's easy to work on. We haven't had any problems. Edgers, weed whackers, trimmers, it's all. It's all easy to just run, run one brand. But anyway, we got the BR800 blowers. One of our guys, actually, if you see this, he's got a waist strap on here. This is his blower, it's pretty cool. So, none of these have it, but this one has a waist strap. So, it helps his back, he straps it around, and it kind of takes like the weight off, which is pretty cool, because I've used it. I've used that one for a few hours before. And it's crazy how the weight distributes itself. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so usually there's, three to four guys on a leaf cleanup. One is usually a backup, and then one guy on the mower. And then I'll run you in here real quick. So, we have, again, this is all getting ready for springtime. A little, little overly excited, so everything's kind of ready to go. But this is our old Honda push mower. 
We use this for leaves too if it's like a gated backyard. Doesn't get used much, but this this is an old Honda. Um, no self-propelled. For any of you guys that have, you know, you have those commercial mowers that don't have self-propelled, you, you know how that feels. So that boy gets heavy. But don't really use that much, but it is in here for leaves because that's very old, so if they ever need it. Uh, again, everything gets loaded in the dump. Rakes, barrels. Usually this back gate's up. That's about it. Three guys will sit in here, and then usually we'll have a uh, someone running in one of the other pickups over there, just kind of follow them around. You know, sometimes at the end of the day, you run out of room in that truck and the landfill's closed. It's nice to have like a pickup or someone kind of following you around to help you out, you know? So that's, the pickup usually follows these three guys around. Um, but like I said, that's really it with our leaves. It's, it's really broken up. You know, we do most of our leaf cleanups in the fall, but over the winter, things kind of just, you know, float around properties. So everything needs to get cleaned up again. So that's kind of what we do, you know? Um, yeah, just really small near us. That's really it. Um, again, it's only about a week and a half this time of year. So I'm sorry, we do tarp the leaves. I know how some guys feel about that, but you're not walking far. We do tarp them if it's like bigger, I get not a bigger property, but a property with more leaves. Someone will run the mower and then the other guys will blow tarp, blow tarp, and you, you know how it works. Everyone's, everyone has tarped leaves at some point in their lives, I can tell you that. So, that's that guys. Again, this dump pulls all of that and then we switch over to our trimmings, you know. Um, I'll bring all that out when the time comes. Uh, we have an arborist ladder, two, ar two arborist ladders, an A-frame ladder, uh, which is which are awesome. Uh, we're, we're gonna make a whole new video about that too. I'm trying to bang these videos out before the busy season comes. Most of you know it's it's almost here. It's not here yet, but it's coming. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's really the setup. Uh, steel blowers, the Skag 48. You know, we started out with a push mower. I mean, those bagging systems are are pretty cool. You know, you can get a nice bagging system, but. This is, the, this is the same setup we've had for years. Just bag the leaves. Uh, some properties get mulched, not too much. I don't think it looks good. And it's quicker to bag, believe it or not. So, uh, like I said, that's really it, guys. This is kind of the same setup we've had for a few years. It's efficient, it works. You gotta have heavy duty blowers to make, the, make it go. Like I said, those, and, and I said earlier, like those hurricane blowers, it's, you know they're they're cool. Don't get me wrong, they're cool, but it's it's overkill around here. It doesn't work for small properties. We're in the Northeast. You know, if you're in the Northeast, you know, on the coast, we're you know beach town, resort town. It doesn't. Properties are really small, guys. Really small. But that's the setup. The F three fifty pulling the mowing rig. That mowing rig then turns into the fall cleanup rig, spring cleanup rig, and then soon to be mowing rig. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Check you out later. See ya.